Oh, there you go right there. Yep. Extras parking. That's a set. This is it, I think. Yeah, this is it. This is, I knew it was over here. Okay, so this is another studio right here. I forget the name of this one, but this is another studio. And obviously, you see them yellow signs? That's the key. They're shooting something. And they said extra, so that's the parking for the folks doing what I did for many, many years and don't ever want to do again. I want to be with lines. I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. Audition. I'm going to show y'all because this is a dope, dope mural right here. Another great one by the man, Red Lotus. Shout out to Red Lotus. If you've seen some of my other videos, especially the one I did of uh, the famous wall with the Rizzo Wu-Tang mural, but um, I always love his work, man. His work is all around town. It's, it's just got a unique style. You always know what it is. Ooh, yeah, Abernathy right here. Shout out to Ralph David Abernathy, the legend of the man. I'm not just talking about no streets. Y'all be talking about streets. We be talking about people. We be talking about what Badu was telling y'all when she said, don't be naming no buildings after me that go down. Dilapidated. Y'all don't hear me though. No, you won't be naming no building after me. My name will be misstated. Surely. Sang Badu. Got to honor these people. Don't name nothing after me if it's looking like crap. Fix it up. Make it what I was trying to do when I was ill. I got a shout out to Seelys. Everybody know about the Seelys. There go the Seelys right there, y'all. To see these raw reality right there, y'all. Gotta shout out to see them. West Hunter Street Baptist Church. That was the church on Saints and Sinners. So you see my man got the mural over there. Shout out to occasional superstar, Fabian. That's his famous mural of Kaepernick, all right? And he put a mask on it to make the statement, yo, wear your mask, be safe out here, y'all. But it didn't have a mask on it always. And now I'm seeing, I haven't been over here since, I've seen pictures of it with the mask on it, but to see it in person, it looks like, I'm gonna get a little closer to be sure the sun is doing funny things. I can't tell if it's painted on or if that's something 3D that he had put on top of the mural. It's kind of hard to see it. I think I think it is just like a collage effect. Gotta shout out 992 right there. 992 Gallery, you gotta do that when you come to Atlanta. If they got an event going on, go over there, you won't be disappointed, live jazz. Shout out to my man, Kevy Williams and his queen. They established that many, many years ago for the community. It is a beautiful gallery spot. It's a beautiful spot for just arts in general. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of those art centers, art establishment, art businesses in the community. West End Library up here on the left. Shout out to West End Library. Always show love. Honest Con fam all day. All the libraries. Every library in Atlanta is Honest Con fam by default. Know that. Famous black doctor's home turned into world famous Hammond's House Museum, okay? You have an ongoing gallery and you have the permanent collection. This is Hammond's House. Hammond's House is prolific in many ways. It's been in many movies. I never worked on a movie here, but I got a long personal history with the place. I love the place. I have many friends on the staff and everything over the years. Uh, shout out to Kevin Sipp, who used to be the curator of the art exhibitions here that's my homie and before him ed spriggs the legend at west end park is the official name but we call it malcolm x park every year for his birthday however his birthday falls they'll do it for i think it goes three days usually every year the stage is set up right about here as we continue through historic west end all right, so this is the mural I was trying to get. I'll try this again. This is at the back of the Goodwill. Let's end. And it says, uh, Georgia, stand up. Think, act, organize, mobilize. I got 
some people behind me, so I'm gonna go ahead and part. But Reverend James E. Orange. That's, a, that's beautiful too. I like I like the color. I like the stylization. It's like a whoever the artist is, angular style to it. Uh, let me see if I can catch the name. Tom, Dave, Two, George, F. Baker, the Third, Kayla, Marshall, Chris, Keith. Uh, 2020 they did it KS Design Collaborative so shout out to KS Design Collaborative great work looking good I love it I like that I like that I really like these portraits of him right here where they stylize his beard and stuff that's really cool I like that and again this is uh you know I, I know I know mediums when I see them that's that's aerosol that's spray spray paint mixed in with uh I don't know if it's mixed in with some brush work. It make, I mean, I got no bias to either. It's whatever gives you the look. It makes it beautiful, works. I know there's one, or should be, there's always one on this corner of the Sometimes he redoes them every so often. There'll be one, and he'll take that down and do another one or whatever. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get this for y'all this time. Here we go. That's the big crit joint he did when Crit came out with that album. Justice for Jamarion. You know what I'm saying? Those are all Fabian pieces. Occasional Superstar, Fabian. That little W-I squiggle line, whatever that garbage is, that ain't got nothing to do with his mural. That's somebody doing the whackness. That's what I'm talking about, man. For de defacing stuff because you jealous because you ain't got no skills. Look, look, look. Whoever is on that tip, that's just foul. You don't do that. It's total disrespect. Do not disrespect the art. And this is at uh, Mango's Restaurant, Black Owned Establishment, Caribbean Restaurant, big up again, you know? So I'm talking about, man, it's never enough, it's never enough. Give me more art, art all day, art life, art life, art is life. Look at that, that's dope. Love that on the ears, that's beautiful. Yes, the calories, yes, all of that, beatery, yes. Speak, 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 speak. Talking about Wakanda. I keep telling y'all, not only was it filmed here, the cultures are here, plural. Okay. That if you want to get with the program, that's my philosophy. That's what I push. I don't say for the culture, I say for the cultures. Because everybody don't do what I do. Everybody don't think how I think. I can't claim everybody. I claim those with what I'm about. I claim those with progress. You feel? This is what I'm talking about. Afrocentric network. Right over there. Afrocentric network. Real beautiful, real beautiful. You get it right, you get it right, guys. Show respect. Spelman College in the house, y'all. Shout out to the ladies of Spelman. We're having a day. All the intelligent, amazing, beautiful women of Spelman College. Legendary schools, y'all. Legendary Foundation, y'all. HBCU Foundations. And no, I didn't have to go to an HBCU to have HBCU love. I got plenty of HBCU love. Got it all through my family. Don't always show love to HBCU. But for what I'm here to do, you, see, you gotta know your purpose and what, what is available in your time. You know, maybe in the next few years, there'll be arts programs that offer what I needed when I was coming up. And you know, nowadays I see more and more that probably do have a few HBCUs that are on that level of what I was after when I was in college. I was looking for a serious visual art program, illustration, commercial art, and all that. And I just didn't find as much of what I was wanting. That's the interest of Spelman down there. And this is my house, but uh, you know, I've heard and seen good things in years to come. Like, you know, I remember hearing about Hampton is like real major in the arts right now. I don't know so much if it's uh, commercial, but I know fine art, they're big. You know, they got major gallery, all that good stuff. It's the entrance right there, that's my house. And yeah, you know, so my dad went to my house. Shout out to the house forever. Many of my uncles, all of that. My house, please believe me. Whew, yeah, y'all. Taking my little snack break here. <laughs> Cut myself up a mango. Shout out to Ecuador, where my mango came from. 
whoever's wonderful hands picked or controlled the machine that picked my fruit. Thank you. And I'm not saying that jokingly. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. That's how serious we are about that boat. When you do it from the heart, when you do like what I'm doing right now, somebody's gonna appreciate it. Somebody's gonna see this. Somebody who needs to see this. Somebody who's thinking about moving to Atlanta and has no clue of what it really is. You see all kinds of stuff on TV. You gotta get the real. You gotta see that they're still homeless like that back there or here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta see there's people doing quite well. You know, you gotta see that there's plenty of stuff still got to be handled, you know? This West Peach Tree, <laughs> often confused for the other peach tree. People always make all the jokes about all the different peach trees. Yes, there are a lot of streets with peach tree in the name, but there's only one, sure enough, peach tree, peach tree that people mainly talk about, which I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Now, this is West Peachtree I'm turning off of, to show y'all the formal, formal, show enough, show enough, Peachtree. So, this is Peachtree Street. Peachtree Street is the peach tree, okay? The Tabernacle is noted as a film location. We did, what show was I on over there? So many things, I'm mad. Okay, way, way back in the very beginning, shout out to my homie Diallo Riddle. A show that didn't come out that deserved to come out. Man, I hope that got on camera. That was a beautiful shot of the Peace Street Plaza right there. The big cylinder, the official Atlanta building, ATL, all day. Uh, but Diallo Riddle shot a film with Bashir Salahuddin. Writing partner and acting friend that is the star of Sherman Showcase. Those two did a show called Brothers in Atlanta that was about two artists trying to make it in Atlanta. And they were just good friends, you know, and it was just about them as brothers, as good friends, trying to survive Atlanta and the new Atlanta and how things are now versus how they were, you know, Diallo from Atlanta. And they um, shot a scene at the Tabernacle, a big concert. Uh, Maya Rudolph, she was the, <laughs> that was hilarious. She was there, she performed for the scene. And um, yeah, we were all up in the spot, man. That was that was the thing, I'll never forget that because there was a lot of people I met. You talk about them cattle calls? That was a cattle call, that was my first cattle call, I think. Yeah, you gotta understand, when people do performances on movies, what you see is, you know, one, one big take. It's like, yo, man, they got down, that was amazing. How about all day? <laughs> How about get there at six o'clock in the morning and go 12, 13, 14 hours and you're pretty much doing the same concert over and over and over and over and over. And over. All right, so this is what I like to say is Atlanta's, uh, the closest Atlanta gets to Times Square, which I've always said needs a huge improvement. I mean, I like that we got, okay, on the edge of the West End, you got that little thing, you got some lights over here on the chase and you got the Hooters on the corner. But that's, come on y'all, that's it. Let's just be honest, that's it. Like, there's no other big lights. Like, I want this to be lit all the way up. Like, from underground Atlanta, people who know Atlanta know what I'm talking about. From the end of, of this, all the way back to Midtown need to be lit up, but especially from underground to back there. Just should have a whole bunch of, I mean, you know, it is what it is, It'd be a bunch of advertising, but you know, make it look exciting, make it worth something to talk about. I mean, we do have this Coke thing down here. It's been there for years. That's been here since the underground opened. So that's that big Coke sign I was talking about everything. And you know, that's all cool. You know, I get it for what Coca-Cola represents. In, in the city of Atlanta, it's one of the main companies. But I'm just gonna be real. People, at least most people who I know who are true art enthusiasts, they don't travel from around the world to see a big sign of Coke. They know what Coke is. That, you know, and seeing the logo big in lights is not, it's just not. I'm sorry. People want to see that. You see this right here? See that right there? See that mural? That's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what, what people want to see. They want to see that. They want to see that. They want to come and see that. They, you know? So this right here, this pit right next to these railroad tracks, over there, that gravel where you see those vehicles, that was the site of Lagos, Nigeria and Captain America Civil War. And it was also used in one of the Ant-Man movies. It's probably been used in a few movies, but that, that whole lot over there. What it is, what it ain't, what it gonna be like, all right? A-Town, peace up, A-Town down, that's how we do.